Health officials have tested just over 1,000 Eleuthera residents and only 12 people are on preventative antibiotics. But no one in Eleuthera or at the R.M. Bailey Senior High School here in New Providence has full-blown tuberculosis. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Alsafiz Manning. Thanks for tuning in. Tonight, health officials are telling us that 204 people on Eleuthera and 10 individuals at the R.M. Bailey Senior High School have had positive TB skin tests. However, the skin test does not mean that they have TB. It simply means they've been exposed. First, from Eleuthera, 204 residents had positive tests for exposure to TB. Those 204 residents then had chest x-rays as the next step in the screening process. Now, out of that 204, three are some sort of preventative measure, are on some sort of preventative measure treatment, and nine more are going to have their x-rays further screened. However, it should be clear, no one in Eleuthera has presented with full-blown TB symptoms. Here's Minister of Health, Dr. The Honorable Dwayne Sands. What we have found thus far is that um, more than 100 uh, persons uh, in that screening have uh, positive MAN2 tests, and some of those persons with positive MAN2 tests have suspicious chest x-rays. Now, um, I have to be very clear that suspicious x-rays does not necessarily mean tuberculosis, but it is more likely to be an active case of tuberculosis. Now to R.M. Bailey. Officials confirm that eight staff members or teachers and two students have had positive skin tests, which only means they have been exposed to tuberculosis. We have screened uh, about 110 staff and teachers uh, regular staff and uh, teachers and we have begun the process of screening the children so altogether we've screened just about 400 we still have a significant number of students to test and to finalize the reading of the skin tests on those that were screened after